Grade 5, Module 6, Lesson 9, Homework. Number 1, complete the table for the given rules. Line A. The rule is y is 1 less than x. So y is 1 less than x, meaning x minus 1 would be y. So 1 minus 0, or 1 minus 1 is 0. 4 minus 1 is 3. 9 minus 1 is 8, and 16 minus 1 is 15. So there are coordinate pairs. Let's go ahead and plot them. So we have 1, 0, over 1, and up 0. 4, 3, so we're going to go over 4 and up 3. 9, 8, so over to 9, and up to 8. And 16, 15. So here's 16 and 15. And let's construct the line here. So there's line A. Now let's do line B. So the rule for B is y is 5 less than x. So this time it's x minus 5. It will get us y. So we have 5, 0. 8 minus 5 is 3. So 8, 3. 14 minus 5 is 9. So 14, 9. And 20 minus 5 is 15. 20, 15, and let's go ahead and plot those. We have 5, 0, 8, 3, 14, 9, and 20, 15. And I'll draw I'll connect the coordinates. So that is line B. Compare and contrast these lines. So the first thing that jumps out at me is these two lines are never going to intersect, meaning that they are parallel. So I'm going to say these lines are parallel. What I also notice is that the only difference between them is three units, or four units. So this is x minus one, and this is x minus five. So this is just four units lower or smaller than line A. So I'm going to say that the only difference is that line B has x values that are 4 units greater Then A. Based on the patterns you see, predict what line C, whose rule value is y is less seven, y is seven less than x, would look like. Draw your prediction on the plane above. So, I would predict since it's seven less, I would predict that it's going to be parallel again because we're just subtracting. So I predict that it will be parallel. two lines A and B. And then let's go ahead and draw it. So um, let's pick four points. So I'll pick 
what is it? Y is seven less than X. So I'll pick seven, zero. And then I'll do nine, seven less than that would be two. And let's do 15, seven less than that would be eight. Let's plot those, so seven, zero. 9, 2, and 15, 8. Connect them, and yep, that line is also parallel. Number two, complete the table for the given rules. Line E. So the rule is y is three times as much as x. So y is three times, so x times three is y. So zero times three is zero. So that's zero, zero. One times three is three. So we have one, three. Four times three is 12. Four, 12. And six times three is 18. So six, 18. Let's draw that. 0, 0, 1, 3, 4, 12, 6, 18. Then we have line F y is a third as much as x. So y is one third of it. So if we have zero, it's still zero. One third of three, or in other words, we're dividing by three. Three divided by three is one. Nine divided by three is three. And 15 divided by three is five. If we plot those, we have zero, zero, 3, 1, 9, 3, and 15, 5. Construct each line on the coordinate plane. Okay, so we have, this is line E, and this is line F. Compare and contrast these two lines. So what I can see is line E is much steeper than F, so it's increasing at a much greater rate than line F. So let's say line E is increasing much more quickly than F. And let's go even, let's analyze it a little bit more. So on E, the Y values, remember this is Y, this is X, the Y values are going up very quickly, but on the x-axis, they're just going up very slowly. We only made it to, by the end of this chart, we've only made it to like seven, but here at only the x value of five, we were already, or six, we were already up there at 18. So let's say that on E, the y values get big very quickly. But on F, they go up slower than the X values. And C. 
Based on the patterns you see, predict what line G, whose rule is Y is four times as much as X, and line H, whose line is Y is one fourth as much as X, would look like. Draw your prediction on the plane above. So if the rule is it's going to be four times as much, so instead of times three, it's times four, I predict that the times four rule, or line G, will be, it'll gonna, it's going to increase even more quickly, it will be much steeper than, maybe not much steeper, but it'll be steeper than even line E, which was increasing at three times as much. And then, so that's going to look more like, I'll draw my prediction, something like this. So it's going to go up very quickly. That's kind of my prediction. Uh, what was that? Line G. As opposed to line H, I'll do that in a different color. So line H, which is basically divide by four or one fourth as much, will increase at an even slower rate. than line F because this was just dividing by three, so only taking a third of what it was. If we're dividing by four, it's gonna go even less, I believe. Something like that. Because it's gonna be getting s smaller and smaller as we're dividing the Y value by four.